Now, this entitlement is just floating around, entitlement to speak about people's businesses. And now Terence the Creative is asking Kenyans why they do not come through for celebrities, you know? He's saying that when celebrities are doing the best, yes, you're praised, you have engagement, you're good, but when they have a problem, all of a sudden, Kenyans don't want to help. And that was caught with a lot of mixed reactions from Kenyans because we're thinking, but that's none of our business, you know? You chose this life. You chose this life. Anyway, on his post, Daddy Warren decided to comment and say, Shida ni maseleb wanaeka picha, or rather, the celebrities post pictures of soft life, and then mtuwa kisota unaingia ground, and then when you come, you unaingia ground, you go back, you don't tell people, you work, to, you work towards becoming a better person. And then when you get your money right, you come back again. And then he went on to say, I have had highs and lows. And when I was at my lowest, my celebrity friends came through for me. Uh, ooh, that's, that's well and good. Comedian Tumbili, on the other hand, said, why don't celebrities... Ka, you know, come through, support each other. Because when you are not trending, when you're not trending, they don't help. Mimi Kenyans are many ideas, sana. The whole conversation, the whole thing was just tied, just came off to me as being tied around the entitlement. And somebody actually rang true to my sentiments in the comments by saying, Sisi tukishikwa na shida, hatuwekangi till number, so kila mtu apambane, which is very true. Somebody else went, to say, went on to say, utafanya omosh akumbuke aanze. Somebody else says, wanajiekanga class ya juu watu impress, munatumia do kuchase clout, alafu mkiishiwa, munatukujia. How now? And that's, that's actually true, because, because I don't get it. When you're a celebrity living your best life, you don't even like think to give back to Kenyans. You don't even think to support Kenyans in whatever way we, you should. And not that you're supposed to. No one is asking you to, but it's just the way you present yourself. Because if I saw you, and I've mentioned this again, you were with Jabo Jabo in Maldives like two months ago, and then you come out and give us a sad story about how you cannot make rent, about how you're trying to make ends meet, I'm not going to help you because you have painted this picture of luxury all through my, you know, your entire life. Your timeline is full of pictures of you in Dubai. So for you to turn around and ask your supporters for help, financial help, it just comes off as a little uh, cringe. And I wouldn't do that. And I think sometimes celebrities do take advantage of their audiences from some of them selling, you know, miracle teas to help with you know weight loss when they have done plastic surgery to some of them doing the most to some of them giving us sob stories about how they cannot make it to even as recent as Mishidora Mishi went and had the time of her life at the club couldn't pay the bill and then she turns out turns around and says um please Kenyans help me I am in prison I am unable to pay this bill Obviously, I will not send you this money as much as I feel bad for you, but you were popping champagne like 24 hours ago on our timeline showing us receipts of how you accrued a bill of over 200,000, calling it soft life, caption it hashtag you could never, and then you turn around and ask for my help. Me who goes to work every single day to make the little that I make, to make ends meet, you want me to share that with you? Uh-uh. <clears throat> nah, -uh, I'm not doing that. I feel like it's irresponsible in both parts, though, in my mm -hmm. opinion. In my genuine opinion, I feel like it's irresponsible in both parts. Because let's start to look at the facts. Whenever a celebrity is posting these soft life pictures, posting these soft life videos, they're the ones we want to see. Mm -hmm. No one is... Have you ever seen people actually going over there and liking you when you're eating your maziwamala and ugali? Even when Corazon spoke about herself eating maziwamala and ugali, what did we do? We turned around and started making her look like 
you know, she's not at par, she's not at capacity, she's not the kind of celebrity you want to see. The kind of celebrities you guys want to see or we want to see in general are people who are living their best lives. Mm -hmm. People who are turning up in the Maldives, people who are there with Shelly Shelly, Waki Shelly Shela. I'm just like, y'all, this is what we want to see and these are the kinds of pressures that we imply, apply on people. And when we don't get it, we start to feel like they are less than. When we start to see the realities of their lives, when we start to see them acting and being normal, it becomes a problem for us because somehow it is impalatable. We cannot palate. We cannot accept that our celebrity who we normally see looking looking lavish living the best life is in the same state as us aren't you the same people who turn around and say in fact i was speaking to one of our cameramen who was like oh by the way i saw so and so kwa tattoo mm -hmm. and suddenly it was a whole thing and he said his words he said and i didn't want to approach him because it looked like he was hiding why do you think this one celebrity decided to hide his face when he got into a matatu? It's because you, exactly what you have done now, you've literally diminished him into being almost nothing simply because he's in the same condition as you financially. Mm -hmm. Simply because he's living the same as life as you. We don't want to meet our celebrities in a regular mall. We want them to be shopping in, in Dubai and all of this. No. I just genuinely feel like these pressures that we apply to other people in the name of of celebrity and us wanting them to live the soft life in our places mm -hmm. is what is causing the problem. So whenever I come back and tell you, and we actually saw someone uh, very recently, this very beautiful girl, she's pretty much on every single advertisement, every single poster. What's her name? The Shotara one, the one with the curly hair, light skin, has mad tattoos. When her mom got sick, she yeah. was diagnosed with cancer. This girl went online with all of the places that we see her. She went online and she was crying and she's like, oh my goodness, this is the amount of money that we were able to raise, but can you please help us to get the rest of the money? Why is it impossible for us to understand that we are all human? It's it, simply because my name is more popular than yours doesn't mean that I have any other advantages in life. You know, Listen. we need to get to a point where we are accepting of everyone's life. However, not take advantage of other people. Simply because I am over here propagating that we should be helping all celebrity does not mean you don't go and do your due diligence. Tafadhali, ende wangalia ukweli ni kwamba, by the way, alikuwa ilisemekana and it is true. Okay, fine, I will send you my money. And once you send that, please stop give, give stripping people. Now you have sent us 200 shillings, you want us to, to kiss your feet. My friend, calm down. Can you calm down? Can you calm down? Let us know what your thoughts are. The number is 0777293666. Do you think that celebrities are justified whenever they come out and ask for help? Or do you feel like simply because they live like they're soft launching themselves constantly, then it is impossible or improbable or even impractical of us to give our small pennies to celebrities? Mm -hmm. Let us know your thoughts. But right about now, we're going to go on a quick little break. And when we come back, more on Let's Talk.